What's up, YouTube? Uh, just wanted to post a quick video here about this company, Safety Restore. Um, I just got my seat belts back from these guys. They did a webbing replacement, uh, just like it shows right here on their uh, brochure, their little flyer. Um, I sent my seat belts in for my two door, and they just came in. And man, these things are just like brand new. They uh, replaced the webbing, and they make it look just like factory. I mean, look at the stitch on this thing. I mean, that's just like how it comes from the OEM. And uh, even the little loops, you know, it, it's just they did a really, really good job on replacing the webbing on these seat belts. And uh, I mean, it looks just like brand new again. And um, I paid, it was, what did I pay for this thing? It was about, yeah, it was, it was 65 bucks, 65 bucks for the replacing. And um, I think if your truck is older than 96, it's probably going to be an extra 25 bucks or so. Um, but since mine's a little older than that, um, they didn't charge me. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm very, very happy with the way that these seatbelts came back. And before they were just a mess. They were completely dirty, filthy. Um, they were, you know, almost like ripped. And it was just, it, they needed a makeover big time. So, um, found this company online. I gave them a shot, sent them over and they sent them out i got them back you know it took a little while but i got them back within a week and a half or so and uh yeah i'm, I'm very happy with uh with uh, their work and i'm thinking about sending the back seat uh seat belts over to them um i just gotta pull them out from their little sleeves here but um yeah i'm, I'm very happy with uh, the way they came out and i'm putting them in right now this is the uh, driver's side and I got some pictures of uh, the way they looked beforehand. I'll post those on the video as well. But just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse on, on how they look. And just a quick little how-to on to uh, on removing these things and, and uh, putting them back in as well. So, um, again, there's this little plastic sleeve right here. There's a little tiny little clip. You can see it right about there. That little clip that's right there. All you got to do is just literally get your finger pop it down like that this comes up and you got your t50 um, size bolt right there and then on the bottom side it's bolted down to the ground and you have another t50 bolt it's right in there you can't really see it because it's kind of dark but literally it's it's right there um, same thing you just get your your t50 um, that's it right here this is your t50 bit it's the way it looks and just you know just just take take the bolts out and it's just those two bolts there's one right there and then there's just this one on top and just like that they're out and uh to put them back in it's the same thing start off with the bottom tighten it all the way down so this doesn't move and then uh start with the top and that's it ready to go click that back in and then they're ready to go you can adjust it just uh, like so slide it back up slide it back down but again um you know what I mean? I'm, I'm very happy with the way the rewiping came out. It, it just, it looks very, very good. And I'm very happy with the results. So if you guys uh, are looking for uh, a, a seatbelt um, replacement, I'd recommend giving these guys a shot. I mean, if you get lucky and you go to the junkyard or you find a donor car that has very good seatbelts, good condition, um, you know, might be cheaper going that way. But um, again, this is, this is a two door. So trying to find parts for the inside is kind of a bit tricky. I mean, they're very unique trucks and, um, you know, every little thing is, is different from a four door. Uh, it's, it's kind of a pain to find that inside parts for it, but, um, you know, you might get lucky and see somebody on social media or online that's parting one out or whatever. But I mean, down to the vents, like even these little vents right here, I tried to pull one off from a four door and it was a completely bigger size like it didn't even fit and uh, I had to get one from another two-door I found a two-door luckily found another one and it, it fit just fine but um, yeah I mean uh, quick little glimpse of the inside I got the seats reupholstered um, I put a brand new carpet and got this from ACC uh, I repainted the center console repainted the glove box all the all the interior panels I repainted it and just wanted to give it a new little um, new little coat of paint just to make it look uh, make it look brand new again. So got all these right here. These were all repainted. Got the ashtrays here. Kind of keep it that, keep it that OEM stock look. Um, got the headliner, did that. Of course, put new LEDs on all the lights. All of them have LEDs. 
I even did the visors, the mirror visors, and I actually got to swap those out because that is just, it's too bright. Like I turn them on at night and they're just ridiculously bright. Um, I got to swap those or what I could do is probably get the plastic and like get some tint spray and maybe, you know, tint the, tint the plastic on that, but did the center console ones as well. Those are all white LEDs and I repainted the, 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 uh, center console. I removed the, uh, the trim that was up here. That was the same color as the old headliner. And, uh, if I would have put it on this new headliner, it would have looked, uh, it would have looked funky. So I just took it off and I took off all the glue that was in there. And then I just repainted it all, um, with some, uh, vinyl and, uh, plastic paint that you get from your, you know, AutoZone or O'Reilly's or whatever, you know, automotive shop that's, that's by you. But, um, did the stereo, just put a nice little simple singled in with some Bluetooth in there. Um, what else? Dash mat, of course. And, uh, of course we swapped out the speakers, put some new speakers. And what I did too in the back, um, those are four by 10 speakers in the back and I popped those out. I cut the bracket a little bit and I fit a six by nine in there. So there's some six by nine speakers in the back. And, uh, um, I got all the wires, all the wires tucked underneath the carpet here and I ran them all the way back. So I'm going to be hooking up an amp and a subwoofer later on, but I wanted to make it nice and clean. So you don't have the wires, um, you know, kind of underneath the, the plastic panels here. It's all underneath the carpet and it's nice and clean. So I, I like the way that it, it, it came out. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is, this is the truck. It was a project I bought back in May of 2020 and, uh, finally was able to get it the way I wanted it to look and able to drive it now, putting the seatbelts in, like I said, and, um, got the, got the tags for it, just registered it, got the new wheels and tires, uh, fresh coat of paint, matched the grill. Of course, got new headlights, new LEDs, got the new valance on the bottom, painted the tow hooks and, uh, painted the the side mirrors and got a new windshield of course windshield was a mess and let's see here uh new tail lights of course and i got new plastic for the bumper and uh it's a barn door style barn door style two door um i was actually looking for a tailgate style i like that more but i heard that the tailgates or the the barn door ones are a bit more rare so um either way i'm i'm, I'm happy with it and uh just can't wait to you know get a little bit more done to it um, definitely want to throw a new exhaust on there and I want to do a little bit more painting like I want to paint these pillars back here They're a little bit all kind of messed up a little bit But I think if I sand it down and then uh, hit it with some gloss black paint, it'll look nice and nice and brand new again, but um, Yeah, other than that uh, That's pretty much it So yeah, hope you guys uh, find this video informative and you guys give these uh, safety restore company a shot and uh let me know if you guys have any questions or any comments. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.